Lawson, what do you think? I don't know, Brandon. Is this really the wave of the future? Absolutely. We're building way more than bridges here. I've been working on this place for a long time. Yeah, I mean, it's fine, but I just liked our normal set. <laughs> normal set? Can we do this on our normal set? Oh, see? Diamonds! Wow. <laughs> you try. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. We always end up on fire when you play. Help! Help! Ah! Hello, everybody. My name is Lawson. And I'm Brandon. And this is the So-and-So Show. Ah! Oh, come on. What? How dare you, sir? You are the stooge. Uh, I'm sorry, Brandon, are we bothering you? No, no, I'm sorry. I'm dealing with a troll on this game that I'm playing. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, hey, will you just imagine that, that I am made out of rubber and you, by contrast, are made out of something that is sticky like glue so that when you insult me the way that you're doing right now... A troll like, really... like the mythical creatures that live under the bridge? But no. No, a troll is someone who goes on the internet for the sole purpose of making other people angry. They, they make rude comments on your pictures, they insult your tweets, and they follow you around ruining your game because they think it's fun to be mean. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, if you think you're so tough, why don't you come on the show and, and you say that to my face? What? No, that's, that's an awful idea, Brandon. Trolls are cowards, Lawson. He'll never show up. Uh, uh, please welcome someone who knows stuff. Sup, Stooge. You look different than your avatar. I'll take that as a compliment. You know it isn't. Hi, I'm Lawson. Hmm, didn't ask. <clears throat> All right, you know what? Your, your quarrel is with me, troll, so please leave my co-host out of it. Yeah. I have a name. Oh, sorry, what is it? Joel. Joel. The troll. That's right. So I spend all day under a bridge making fun of people on the internet. So what? Wait, you actually live under a bridge? No, I don't actually live under a bridge. It's near a Starbucks, so I get free Wi-Fi. Oh. I have a question. Why are you the way you are? Well, what can I say? Water's wet, fire's hot, birds gotta sing. Trolls gotta post sarcastic memes about your lousy gameplay. Or you could be nice. And you could be quiet, but here we are. Listen, I would like you to stop trolling me on the game, please. Or what? Or what? Or, or, or what? Or what? What? I, I, uh... What? If I don't stop trolling you on the game, what are you going to do about it? I, I don't know. I guess I'll talk to the game administrators and about having you removed. <sighs> well, I'll just log back in with a new user ID. You can't keep me away. I'm like a, a fungus. I'm just going to keep coming back again and again and again and again. Or, and ag you or what are you, in a rowboat or something? Seriously, do you need an or? Like, or, 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 where are you rowing? A port stooge? <laughs> I mean, seriously, does this guy have an off switch? You know what? This is, you can't talk to my friend that way. 
I would like you to leave, please. S suits me. Show's a real stinker anyway. A real stinker. See you online, Stooge. <laughs> the only real stinker around here is you. <laughs> That's what I should have said. That's what, maybe I can catch him. No, 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 don't do it, man. It's, it's not worth it. You're right, it's not enough. I need to hit him where it hurts. On the internet. I'm gonna post something snarky on every single one of his pictures online. That'll show him. But uh, won't he just do the same thing to you? Probably. So I'll hit him again with more sarcasm and more insults. I'll come up with the perfect comebacks. I'll go at this day and night if I have to. <laughs> or... Or what? Or it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys. Hello, Kellen. You know any good insults, Kellen? Um, why? I'm trolling a troll. Oh, I don't think I can help you there, but I can tell you a story from the Bible about Isaac. Okay, you do that. I'll try not to distract you. Actually, Wait, I, I, I'd really like to help tell the story today, Kellen. Okay. It's a little movie trailer that I've been working on. On my computer? Shh. Presenting the story of Isaac and his wells. In a town called Gerar, there lived a man, a wealthy and powerful man, a man blessed by God himself, a man named Isaac. But Isaac may have met his match in Abimelech. Move on from here. You're too powerful. All right, then. Hold up. To be clear, Isaac wasn't a cowboy, and he didn't live in the Old West. But it is true that the king of the Philistines, Abimelech, wanted Isaac to move further away. Now, Isaac could have stayed. He was certainly strong enough to fight Abimelech, but he chose to walk away from a fight. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. spoiler alert, Kellen. Oh, sorry, continue. Searching for a place to live, for water to drink, he was searching for peace. Hey! That water's ours. You best move on. All right, then. Yeah. So Isaac wasn't going around digging wells by himself. He had a whole bunch of people to help him. Now, these wells were originally dug when Isaac's father, Abraham, lived on the land. But whenever Isaac tried to open up a well, someone would come along to fight about it. But Isaac wouldn't fight. And then, finally, Isaac had found what he was looking for. Or had he? Hey! God is with you. I want to make peace. All right, then. The good, the bad, and the peaceful. Coming soon to a theater near someone. Wow, that was incredible. Great job. Thank you. Mm, yeah, great story. I learned a lot. Isaac was strong enough to fight, but he knew no good would come from it. Yep. By walking away, Isaac showed Abimelech that making peace was more important than winning the argument. Now, don't get me wrong. It's good to stand up for yourself and for others, but it's usually best to find how to do that in a peaceful way. Thanks a lot, Kellen. You betcha. See you guys next time. Bye. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Are you still going to troll Joel the Troll again? No, no. I, no good can come from that. I'm walking away from that fight. I am going to block him on the game I play, though. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> Thank you. Shall we? Yep. Reveal, Reveal the, the question. question! Today's question is, when should you walk away from a fight? That's a tough question. Mm. Uh, maybe you should walk away when the fight is over something small, like uh, who took the last piece of pizza? That's not small, that's a big deal! Sorry. I forgive you. <laughs> it's also probably a good idea to walk away when someone might get hurt. Talk to a grown-up you trust, or try and find a peaceful solution first. Yeah, peace is the way to go, for sure. So, talk about it together. When should you walk away from a fight? Until next time, I'm Brandon. And I'm Lawson. And this has been The, the So-and-So so and so show. show. We'll see you next week. Bye! Play this game some more. All right, here we go. This is great. Don't worry. I watched a YouTube video. I got this. Okay. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Hey, did you ever have a pencil troll? No, did you? Oh, yeah, I did. It was really fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's good. Oh. You mean like this? No, thank you. What?